Hi everyone, this is a video on how to make a working drawings. So I've got my coffee table here that I drew earlier. I'm going to double click on this and just quickly spit out some working drawings. Alright, you'll notice that all my parts, I've done the colour already because I've already made the design option for this one, the presentation drawing. Uh, so all I need to do now is just check in the drawing section of Onshape if you've got any parts hidden you need to remove them um, but in this one all the parts are visible so um, there's nothing hidden which means it's all supposed to be shown so all I need to do now is come down hit the plus create drawing ISO A3 millimeters don't include the title block. This is just a personal preference and what gets me by. You want to be A3 though because that's the size of your folio. Alright, so up here this is important. Click Part Studios and grab the whole thing. So you can show individual parts if you want, which is good for when you're in the workshop, but we just want it. Now, 1.8 seems a little bit small. That seems a little bit better. So remember, it's top, front, right-hand side. So this is the front view. Yep. And you notice there's a box following me and it only goes straight up. That's because this is a projected view. So if you have a look over here, projected view is already selected. And there is the top. I think. Or is it giving me the bottom? What are you doing on shape? top. So I've just double clicked on it to get the properties up. Oh, it's gonna... okay. On shape's good, but it's not always great. So if you have something where you're not getting exactly what you want, like I've drawn this, if you look at the view cube, the top, the front, the, the left, the right, it's exactly where it should be, but the drawings trying to spit something else out at me so instead of doing the projector view you can also put the insert view in change it to what you want and that looks better there's the top All right, and I'll, pr uh, I'll probably be able to double click this one whoops click sorry click projected, click this one out to the side. So there's two ways you can put drawings on. Well, there's more than two ways, but... to put the main views on, you can either insert a new picture or you can use a projected view. But I do want the top, the front, the right-hand side. That's just standard. Now, if you want to do an isometric, you can insert it, or you can double click this, sorry, or you can click projected, click this one, come out to the side over here. Just wait for on shape. All right, you get this sort of view from underneath. It doesn't look great, but to be honest, I don't think there's much we can do about it. I don't know why it does it. So if we insert this, but we want the isometric, it is probably just going to give me, oh no, there we go. So that did fix it. So if you have a problem with your isometric, try and insert as a separate drawing and see how you go. That's how it should look. Um, click that there. 
another thing that you will probably want to do is a detail. So click here. I want to detail this point right here. So you can see I've clicked on a point and then drawn a bigger circle. And then what it does is basically um, do it what's called a detail. So it blows it up. So instead of being one to six scale, if this is one to three, and I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to make sure I've got enough space for my heading. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. All right, now put some dimensions on. So you can press D on your keyboard or click this button here. 450 by 675. We don't put dimensions on the isometric because whenever you do it, see it comes out weird like this is saying 367 when it's actually 450 and it's already set in the other drawing so don't do that we need height try and keep them out of the way the measurements too um, we need to know so there's this is that's why I wanted the details so I could show that gap there um, we also need to know the thickness of these parts here. When you get drawings from a architect, they often don't specify everything. Um, and you kind of have to figure it out. They only specify what's important. So here we've said the width the length, the height, the thickness of these pieces, and there's a bit of an overhang that we want to. Um, one thing that we don't have is this shelf down here. We haven't really shown it, but because we've got the 3D drawing, I think that'll be fine for now. So all we're gonna do now is chuck in, um, whoops, I'm gonna move this down. We're gonna chuck in a note, a note, we're going to put it, whoops, I'll make it about seven, and our note's going to say, um, to, can't remember what we called our presentation drawing, we'll just call this one. So we called ours the, let's see if paste works. Yep, and then the last thing to do is put your name on it. Uh, which do tastefully here. And if you want to export it for your folio, right click, export, call it um, something that you know what it is, PDF. Download, beautiful, click export. And then send it to me.
any questions shoot me an email thanks for watching